Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Champions of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool no mythic team you can use to do this faction assault in the worm run. Pop to the shop and grab yourself a tier 1 if you fancy it. It gives you a potion of enchantment, which means all your troops will start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for this event only. But bear in mind, if you have your horde level at level 100 or more in worm run itself, you will already have a potion of enchantment stored. So no need to actually buy one, unless you buy more tiers, in which case you need to buy them in order. So we can have a look what's further down the line at the same time. Tier 4, we have the Dragon's Talon, the faction's weapon. Deals magic-based damage to the first two enemies, boosted by skulls, so more collectible than anything, but collect it anyway because you will need a certain amount of weapons from a certain kingdom to advance them eventually once they're fully powered up. So let's take a look at the team then. We're going to go straight across the middle here for speed reasons. Make it nice and easy. Well, I've shown a similar team before with two times a Tesla. If you've got two Teslas, this is the way to go. The Shield of Urskaya, Tesla, Tesla, Holy St. Astra. But if you don't have two Teslas and you can pop in a Tink Steam Whistle, gives magic based armor and life to all allies magic plus one boosted by red gems and has a summon at the same time and also conjures a electro storm when his turn begins so we can use him to boost up the armor and life which is useful because holy saint astra gives life and armor at the same time as well as create a light storm and enchant all humans tesla is a human and does true scatter damage boosted by all ally and enemy armor so basically we can use these two to boost up that armor and do a massive amount of damage using Tesla. And her power scales with the enemy. So on those harder delves, when they get harder, when the enemy gets more harder, it just works more and more against them. Really cool. And the Shield of Askaya gives another massive boost to power. Give an ally magic plus one armor, boosted by all enemy attack. Then enrage and barrier them. We're going to protect our troops with those barriers because this has shielding as well, which basically means it's going to barrier itself when cast. So we're generally going to cast on somebody else and effectively get two barriers for the price of one. Very, very nifty indeed. The banner for this will go for a plus two brown, plus one yellow, minus one purple eagle banner. And the class, fantastic for this. A Geomancer, give one life for each brown ally. Reduce damage from skulls by 50%. Keeps our armor high if we get hit because the more armor, the more damage Tesla does. And we start with a 50% mana start at the same time. Impact is really cool for this. Anti-magic sphere, tactician, rock solid. Gain a barrier when matching brown gems, which you do that to collect for the for the shield. We get a barrier again. Stone mastery, brown is nice. Don't need that because we're going to get it from Holy Sun Astra. And a fortitude. Right, let's get these early battles done. And then we'll jump forward into the delve itself on level 500 and show how it works there. I mean, things get as hard as they possibly can. On the early stages, just collect for a Tesla. I mean, right now, look, the boost, even without anything really going on, is already plus 359. That is mainly due to my stats. But um, you'll notice on the harder levels, when things get more difficult, that basically that boost ratio, that boost goes up all the time because basically as the enemy gets more armor, it just works against them. So let's caboose them out of the way. Let's whiz through these early levels. Show how easy we get this done on the easy stages, early stages. Stick on Medals of Guard if you've got them. Boost up the, the armor of your team. Every little helps. There you go. Super easy with that 50% start and the uh, Potion of Enchantment. Absolutely makes short work of this. And if you haven't got any red or blue, doesn't matter. Just take anything, because with a potion of enchantment, you're going to get ready in a couple of rounds anyway. But there we are, next round. But it is important to protect your troops later on, so we'll show how to do that when we get to the more tricky delves. They're still absolutely a walk in the park with the mighty Tesla. Or tricky Earth. On paper, trickier. In reality, for Tesla, she just laughs in the face of danger. And we'll get that anyway. Have we got any blue? Yes. Get them done. And the last one, before we jump to the elf itself, on level 500.
Now much better. See you all later. Right, let's jump into that delve. Grab our rewards. Thank you kindly. Claim. Cheers, what we got? Stuff. But we like stuff. Stuff is good. Right, let's get this saved. Pop down to the delve. Dig ourselves into the underworld. Let's go digging. There we go. Let's have a look at this. That was the uh, faction team I used for this. Done a video on this. I think it was last week. So we still yet to do the 500 level faction team for this to get the maximum points. Then check out that video. All right, here we go. Let's chuck this team in. And show how easy this is. So the enemies now got much higher stats. But it can, it's going to completely work against them. This is still exactly the same team. In exactly the same way. But if we look at our boost now before we do anything at all. It's got up to 757. Madness. But we're going to do things ever so slightly differently now. See, uh, we don't actually take that as well. Because we've got a barrier at the moment on this one. So basically when the enemy hits with that. So we've got impact uh, we're going to stun them and take no damage so it's actually in our benefit to actually leave that for the enemy so we'll take some of that instead what we can do is cast this first don't mind about that little bit of damage we can deal with that we've got a nice boost now onto 845 which is pretty mad so let's cast this Give an ally a magic plus one armor boosted by all enemy attack. The boost is plus 316, which is mad. So if anybody hasn't got a, a, sh a barrier, we'll cast on them. But everyone's got a barrier, so we'll cast on Tesla just for good measure. So now the boost is 985. Way, way, way above and beyond what we need to do to just cast Tesla twice and get it done. So what that basically means is, even if you're a, uh, a player that hasn't got as high status as me, it doesn't matter. It's still absolutely going to work. Let's grab this for Tesla. You can cast this if you want to give the enchant to Tesla, but all the while the colours are there, there's no real need to. And that is the first stage kabooshed out of there. I have a sip of my tea because my tickly coughing is trying to make me cough when I'm talking and it's annoying. Oh. Right, next one. So you would have to play around with it a little bit depending upon your player level, get the boosts that you require. But if you want to boost straight away, then basically it's always worth getting this immediately. But if Tesla gets charged up like that, and you do a significant amount of damage, then you can just cast Holy Sinestra again. Tesla is going to get enchanted. This is going to really speed things up to her doing it again. Let's just cast that on anyone. We're in rage now as well, which is useful. There's no red or, or blue like there is at the moment, then it doesn't actually matter that much because with the enchant, it's going to happen really quickly anyway. Cedric thinks he's mucked our team around a little bit, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. And also, don't worry about Tink Steam Whistle's Electro Storm too much. It's not too much of a, a hindrance because, you know, some people may think it gets in the way a little bit using yellow and red but it doesn't because our troops use yellow Hodes and Astra uses yellow Tink uses yellow himself obviously and obviously Tesla uses red so it's all good so you can cast this straight away if you want to get a nice boost first we can cast Tink and now the boost has gone up to 1048 so really good way of going about this if you don't have two Teslas oh the boost there from <coughs> Holy and Astra now doing 1,158. This is way, way, way above and beyond what we need to do. So we don't actually need to worry about collecting anything else. We'll just get Tesla ready. Next round. Kiabush. Oh, I got a summon. What should we do about that? Oh, I know. Just charge Tesla and kill it in one mighty great wallop. Top troop hasn't got any armor. Hasn't got barrier rather. So we'll cast that on them. Give them the effectively free barrier. Yeah, might as well get some of that. Game's being a bit mean to me on our 
red and blue, so we'll basically just get the enchantment going and get them there anyway. And one mighty great wallop. Like I say, Tesla will hit. That kind of ferocity, even if you're a player with not as high stats as me because of the way it's boosted by the all enemy and ally armor. Let's do this one here. Dwarven Ale Vault. Kiwi from our guild would like that one. An Ale Vault. Wow. If you're over it. Oh, this is too much goodness to not take in one go. So we're currently hitting 794. So a two cast of this is going to be basically enough. If you want to be sure, you can obviously do that first to get a, a nice big boost on that. 947. Two casts above and beyond what we need. Let's do this. Get Tesla enchanted. Makes everything happen just that much quicker. Right, so we'll get that instead. Game's being horrible, my colours on this one. But it doesn't matter. With the enchant, we're ready to go anyway. And wallop them all out of there. And head on towards the Mythic Room. Here we go. Worm's End. In the Ale Vault. No, we've just done that one. Oh, that was a little bit of a better start on everything. Nice, right, so we might as well cast this. No, we'll cast this one straight away. Headless up next round anyway. So when we cast this, we cast Holy Saint Astra. Grab that first. Get that enchant going. Let's cast this on the top troop because I think we lost his, his stuff. And look at the armor he got. See, that's what's so cool about that, that spell. Give an ally that magic plus one armor boosted by all enemy attack. But I think has lost his armor but he's back on the 709 straight away which means our boost is right up there with like 1500 so don't worry if your top troop loses some of the armor all gets hit a little bit it's not a big deal so we can get it right back and tesla says hello you lot goodbye you lot straight before what is that and look i say my horde level is quite high on this delve because it's a tricky one to do with the delve team but you're still going to get a massive massive power output even if you're a newer player just by using the enemy stats against them so there it is there's the team there's the video if you enjoyed it found anything useful or helpful be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help maybe even consider joining it's at the lowest price that youtube would let me do it at but there it is thanks for watching catch you again next time bye for now